hijacking a Star Blaster on Xandar, consorting with a Centaurian delinquent. Past crimes, current crimes, and future crimes. You strike those off my record, I'm in. Uh, uh, that's a big ask. But we can make it happen. Okay, here's the situation. We tracked Thanos to this Kree planet. But when our fighters engaged, he decimated our fleet. Without your help, he'll kill us all. We're no match for him. Half our ships are already gone. We've set up a defensive position around the planet. But we can't hold out for long. Damn it, space cops. You made a mess here, and now we're all paying for it. That is clearly understood. You don't have to point that out. Please hurry. Onto the next disaster. And that is. Where to begin? Thrusters fried, compilers spit down carbon. Oh, and now Groot's on fire. Groot's on fire! Peter! Ah. <laughs> I am Groot. Oh, Groot says thanks. Wait, if you're all here. Who the hell is flying my ship? Vengeance train, okay? But let's worry about not getting killed before we kill him. We are on a spaceship, not a train. Hi, guys. Let me show you how it's done. I am Groot! Uh, no. No. That was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. Okay. <clears throat> not my best effort. Not my worst, though. Uh, uh, any worse and we'd all be dead. Where is the other green one? Uh, wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Get 
me down! Get me down! My sweet, precious little baby! There's an infant on our ship. Well, that can't be good. Where is he? Where is he? Pig! Get down here! I mean, up here! Whatever! Stupid, stubby little arms! Come to Papa! Would you calm down, man? You're freaking out is freaking me out. Calm down? We're all gonna be red paced in a second if you don't help me. Careful with that. My baby, give it! Another nanosecond, and we all would have been atomized. Still looks like it'll blow up to me. It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. I built this bad boy to push back. <laughs> ain't she a beaut? She's still a little unstable. Yeah, well, Rocket, you almost killed us with that thing. Well, I didn't count on you crashing the ship into a friggin' planet! <sighs> so this is how I die. Mad Titan arrives. He is heading towards those ruins. Looks like the Nova Corps failed. It's up to us to take him down. Just the five of us. And that gun. <laughs> Thanos, <laughs> through there, I smell his evil stench. That door is not gonna budge so easily. <laughs> yeah, it will. Okay. So, this gun ain't totally, you know, operational yet. And it only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon or smallish planet without some drawbacks. Wait, what? You couldn't have mentioned that earlier? I didn't want to ruin the mood. <laughs> Let's see. Think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star-Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. I'm not gonna tread at all. Uh, totally part of the plan. Definitely did not almost die. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Oh no. What happened? 
happened? Did you find the Nova Corps? Yeah, um... They're all dead. Hang on. I'll find you guys a way through. I am officially creeped out. How's it look from over there, Peter? This thing is really solid. I'm gonna need something heavy duty to punch through. Well, keep looking. We're counting on you. Looks like the Nova Corps made an emergency landing. Right through a wall. Kinda looks like my landing. This was a bloodbath. Not sure what it looked like before, but this place got trashed. Th Thanos did this. hell out of this thing. Looks like some kind of... ugh, fungus? Maybe? Sounds like Thanos is already down there. Drax, pick up. I can hear you, in my ear. So, who do you think built this place? Kree. I can tell by the hideous architecture. I have never encountered more bloodthirsty and nefarious creatures. I rejoiced greatly when they were annihilated. Was this damage in the fight, or is it supposed to look like this? Hey, Rocket. Uh, yeah? So, is that fancy gun of yours ready yet? You can't rush perfection, or nanomolecular weaponry, so no. Gamora, you got a sec? What do you need? Got any useful info about Thanos? Unfortunately, I do. 
Being raised by a monster, you learn firsthand of the darkness that lives within them. Thanos exists solely to impress death, to rule the galaxy unopposed. We would be wise to prepare for a battle unlike any other. Worth a shot. Stand back. I'm gonna try and push it down. Be strong, Star Lord. Hey, wow, that's working great. Now, how am I gonna get this open? Yo. Yes? Just between you and me, this place is kind of freaking me out. Yeah. I never was a fan of haunted houses. The sooner we finish the job, the sooner we can get the hell out. And yeah, I don't love it in here either. Drax. How can I be of service? What can you tell me about Thanos? Years ago, I had a wife named Hovat and a daughter named Camaria. Oh, hang on. Wonder who you were. Yo, Rocket. Hey, PQ. What can you tell me about Thanos? Only one thing that matters. The big T. Hold up, found something. Gotta hurry up. Yo, Trax. Yes, Star-Lord. Wish I had your help over here. Ah, I understand. You are afraid of being alone.
Yeah, I'm not touching that. That could do some damage. You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I found a crashed Novacore ship. I'd smack through the wall. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Check the side. Should be an access override panel. I uh, might have stripped one of these ships for parts before. Found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. High-ranking officers usually carry them. Maybe I could figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. Hmm. Well, these guys weren't in charge. Here we go. You look like an authority figure. Oh! Jeez. This is where you landed. Ouch. Bingo! I need you. Got it. Hey, you guys still out there? Affirmative, Star-Lord. You all should cover your ears. Understood. Covering. This can't be good. Booyah! This is a cool... 
Kree Temple. They are a technologically advanced species, strong of body, powerful of military. What is Thanos even doing here? What does he want with this place? Guess we'll find out. I know one thing for certain. I gotta get this thing working or we're all dead. I'm almost done tinkering. Promise. Just a little more calibrating and this baby will sing. That gun better be worth all the trouble. Have I ever built anything less than incredible? I am... That's right. The answer is no. Hey, I think this can take us down. If the controls aren't too damaged... Eh, no big deal, Gams. I can undamage them. I am Groot. And Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Ah, why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. To stop a literal murderizing machine. More than I can chew? Yeah, you put something in this mouth, and I'm gonna chew it. I'm gonna chew it so hard that you- Peter, stop. There. Good as new. The time has come. Either Thanos falls, or we do. On my planet, before a great battle, our fearless leader would rally the troops with his words. Thanos is done terrorizing the innocent people of this galaxy. It's time for payback. Yes. Revenge. Always a noble pursuit. What? Stop whatever your mouth is doing. expect as much from you. Now that I have this, I shall roll through the galaxy like a great wave, crushing the bones of every inhabitant and the civilizations of every planet I pass. Uh, oh, let me guess. It's a ancient super weapon. Or something. The Eternity Forge. Called it! Daughter, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. Oh, can't we talk about this? You know, discuss your feelings, figure out why you're so angry. You speak like a petulant child. Show me how you die. Give me a few more 
seconds! We don't have any more! My turn! This is for my wife and daughter! You always were the ungrateful one. You're right. Thanks for training me to kill. I'll put it to good use. I know! God! I know! You took everything from me! I removed your weakness. I gave you purpose. Thanos! How 
is this? No way. <gasps> That's what you get, punk! Danos is dead! <laughs> About friggin' time! Tired of looking at that wrinkly chin of his! Guess this relic is useless. Huh. <laughs> but this gun wasn't! Who dead? You dead! Rocket, Who? You quit it! Dead? Yes! Hey, hey, dude! Stop! Stop kicking He me. ain't getting any deader! We must respect the Fallen. Yeah, respect this, Thanos. We are victorious. The biggest terror the galaxy has ever known is no more. I am Groot! I... I never thought this would happen. Yeah! What do we do now? Thanos is gone. <laughs> Believe it. If it weren't for all this, the Guardians fighting Thanos, do you think we still would have ended up together? All of us. Do you think we would have been... Sometimes. <laughs> it's a miracle we haven't murdered each other already. Are you kidding? We already drive each other crazy. <laughs> okay, yes. But you found a way to make us work together. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, no pressure. 
Get in on that. As you command, Star Lord. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, I regret that immediately. Oh. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. I have long dreamt of this moment. And its arrival is satisfactory. They'd be proud of you, Drax. Thanos can't hurt anyone else's family. And that is because of you. I can find solace in that statement. I was not there to save my family before. But now that I have exterminated Thanos, my redemption is complete. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot's totally right. He said Peter killed Thanos, not you, big guy. Nonsense. Clearly, I got my revenge. Didn't see you pulling the trigger. My hands are too strong. Of course you did, Drax. You killed the guy who killed your family. That's the definition of revenge. Yes. Thank you, Peter. Those are precisely my beliefs. I shall celebrate by consuming this vile swill. Yes, 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 this is the gun that blew a hole in Thanos. But no, you can't do shots on it. Okay, maybe just one. <laughs> hey, Rocket. So, as I was saying, I built this brilliant, beautiful piece of machinery with my own two hands. I can tell. You're impressed by my, uh, technological virility. Ain't nobody in the universe can do what I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. That thing barely worked. Let's, let's not go too far. Ooh! Ooh. Too far? You're alive because I'm a genius. What is your problem, Quill? We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? Nah, I don't need this. Maybe me and Groot should go back to being just a duo. Focus on the stuff that really matters. Making money. What good is saving the galaxy if you won't even share the credit? I don't have to be here, you know. I can do just fine on my own. Rocket, look, I... I'm sorry. You know what? Okay, I... Save it. There's plenty to drink back on the ship. Rocket! Come on! You all wouldn't last a week without me. I am Groot. I'm gonna need your help, Groot. We can't let Rocket leave the Guardians. I am Groot. Out of a galactic super weapon, I see. Bold. Nice to see you're enjoying yourself. We just killed Thanos. Why aren't you celebrating? Not really in the mood. It's just. It's been a complicated day. How about a refill? Why not? On my way. Mm -hmm. 
You disrespectful human! How dare you! Whoa, 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 man. Don't, don't make this a race thing, okay? Humans are people just like everyone else. So you say, Star Wars. Guess not everyone's a fan. At least I managed not to drop this. My hero. I try. Thanos murdered your people. I, I thought you'd be happier once he was caught. He was a monster, yes. But he was also my family. I can't make sense of it. He was a terrible father. He was the only father I've ever really known. I keep thinking about Nebula. Your sister? I called her that. We both called Thanos father. He used to force us to fight to prove who was worthy of being called his daughter. I won. We couldn't stop until there was blood on the ground. Maybe you should have let her win. I thought about it. But the idea of showing weakness in front of Thanos wasn't going to happen. Neb stabbed me while I was sleeping because I won. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She loved him, I think. In her own way. It might take some time. She will forgive you. I imagine I'll have a matching scar to go with this one first. There's a small part of me that wants to see my sister again. But when she finds out what we did, she's gonna lose her mind. She'll hunt us all down, and kill us. You don't know Nebula. Imagine me, but angrier. And enhanced with cybernetics. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. I'll try to call her, after a few more of these. To family, huh? To family. Are you drinking without me? Oh, hey, Drax. Where's Rocket? And Groot? He left while muttering profanities about Quill. The tree went with him. To what are we toasting? Perhaps to the fallen. To honor their memory. That is customary after a battle. Like I was saying, Family. The weirdest looking one in the galaxy. No, we should toast to the dead. May they be avenged! Isn't that a little morbid? Very well, to dead friends then. Just drink, Drax! looking all over for you. Ah, uh, why? We got a big, big problem. Okay. It was not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't care who ordered all the drinks. We need to figure out how to pay our tab. Well, I do have a solution to that problem. Even Captain Killjoy over here is gonna love it. In fact, it's so good, he'll probably take all the credit for it after. Like killing Thanos. Yeah, whatever it is, I'm sure it's brilliant. Why, thank you. It certainly is. We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am... That is... not a bad idea. Selling a corpse? 
How could that be profitable? There are people who would find it valuable. Exactly. And I know just the guy. The Collector. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum, so Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. These are the kind of people you want to be rubbing elbows with, Pete. Everything they got's a superlative. Uh, okay, well that is... that is very weird. You got this purple freak laying dead in front of you, a tree puking his guts out in your toilet, and this is the weird thing? Look around you! Weird is the new normal! Or, we could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals, like the Collector. He's a corrupt thug, bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they maintain peace and order in the galaxy. They have thousands of ships and soldiers. This could get us on their good side. The hell with the Nova Corps. I don't care about those clowns. You and me, Pete, are in complete agreement. Plus, we'd make way more money with the Collector. Guys, we just killed the biggest, baddest criminal in history. We shouldn't turn right around and become one ourselves. <sighs> Working with the Nova Corps is the right thing to do. You're being a greedy little rodent right oh, now. Oh, as if you're so high and mighty, green lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. You do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. That is an accurate and completely acceptable judgment. Hey, Rocket, cut it out. Way too far. You kidding me with this, Pete? This is why I need a friggin' break. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Enjoy staring at my furry backside, chumps. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Had this bag since I was a kid. Used to hold candy. Now it holds... Well, now it holds alien candy. I always knew I'd make headlines someday. Just... Didn't think it'd be for killing a giant purple tyrant. Ah, oh, missed that view. Who did? You did. And about to be someone else's problem. That terminal took a beating in the crash. Still offline. Gotta use the one on the bridge. Hey, Rocket. Move along, Pete. Go talk to your buddy, Gamora. I got nothing to say to you. You, uh, 
Doing all right after last night? The Roden tried to deny me my victory. But you, my true and noble friend, Peter Quill, stood with me. I believe Hovat and Kameria can rest peacefully now. I really need to figure out what to do with Thanos. Novacor, Collector, thrown into a black hole? That is up to you. He is dead. That is all I care about. You know, I've never asked. Hovat and Camaria. What were they like? My wife and daughter. They were... kind. Brave. True. Qualities I, myself, aspire to possess. Ask me no more of them, Peter. I do not always wish to remember their faces. So, eating your feelings, I see. With Thanos defeated, there is a void inside of me that only these rations can fill. All right, gotta run, Drax. Stay cool. My body temperature is always 125.9 degrees. Man, is everything on this ship broken? No, you. Well, that's not good. Who did? You did. And about to be someone else's problem. It's just you and me now, Nebula. We should... I don't know... catch up? About what, Gamora? How you killed our father? You left us no Stay choice! Stay away from me! Hey, Peter. How are you doing? Fine. Staying as far away from Rocket as I can. Whatever you said to him last night really set him off. Now he's taking it out on the rest of us. So... Something on your mind? Did I hear you talking to Nebula earlier? Ugh, if by talking to, you mean being yelled at. Ugh, even though she's pissed, it feels good to have it off my mind. Thanks for the advice. Hey, what are friends for? <laughs> Stopping one another from drinking too much. We both failed that mission.
So, you still mad at Rocket? He needs to watch his little tongue. I... may have been too harsh with him. He just... oh, he's so infuriating. Why do you like the Nova Corps so much? I don't really like to talk about it, but I was an assassin for Thanos. I killed so many people for him that I lost count. Tyrants. Innocence. <sighs> Didn't matter. If you ever hear the ridiculous nickname, the most dangerous woman in the universe, that was me. But the Nova Corps, they turned a blind eye to my past after I joined the Guardians. Being with you guys, making the galaxy safer, it's my chance to make up for what I did. I, uh, I talked to Rocket. He is definitely not my biggest fan right now. Ah. <sighs> I guess I'll talk to you later. Some advice for you. Don't trust the Collector. You should call the Nova Corps. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. All I smell is dead Thanos. The best kind of Thanos. I'm gonna hang out here for a while. I hope you'll consider giving Thanos to the Nova Corps. Okay. Nova Corps. Star-Lord? We thought you were dead. How the hell did you survive? Hardly any of our soldiers made it out. Our fleet was wiped out. What can I say? I'm a tough guy to kill. Huh. 
I should have known Thanos couldn't take you out. Yeah, speaking of which, I have something you might be interested in. I got Thanos lying right here. Really dead. Smelling up the place. Now, I understand there's some kind of bounty on him. Is that right? You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. Nova Corps out. What? We could have gotten way more units with the Collector. What were you thinking, Pete? I rolled out the red carpet for you, and you took a friggin' nosedive. Oi, I should have just sold them myself. Don't be so greedy all the time, man. I am not all the time. Only when it comes to money and us having it. I am Groot. Groot says you did the right thing, yada yada yada. I say we totally missed out on a big score. Thank you, Groot. Shut up, Rocket. Fine. You want to suck up to the space cops? Be my guest. But I ain't going with you. Calm down, Rocket. Look, how about we throw in that relic? That'll give us a little extra. <laughs> I guess. Every little bit helps. Ah, oh, come on. Where did I put that thing? Found you. I'm gonna kill him. Ugh. She broke it, Mom. That doesn't mean it was okay to hit that boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. Are you listening to me? Nothing wrong with punching a bully. He deserved it. You know what? He did. But it's not taking the high road if you're using your fists. You gave me this for my birthday. I mean, you should be pissed <laughs> off too. <coughs> And what he did was wrong, but... But you, you... Don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. Especially not someone who's three grades above you. I mean... That kid practically shaves. <laughs> I... I may have... Made some mistakes. Oh, you think? At least you acknowledge it. This can't keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately, but that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I mean a real apology. No smart Alex stuff. I'm sorry, Mom. You're right. <sighs> it's okay, baby. You're a good kid. You're so much smarter than this, when you want to be. <sighs> I think we could both use a chance to clear our heads, don't you? What we need is a little perspective. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. Beautiful. <coughs> These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. I know, Mom. I'll do better. I know you will. You're gonna be around long after I'm gone. I just... don't want you to be alone. <coughs> Mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <clears throat> it's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists.
I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. You fixed it! Hell! What can I say, huh? I'm pretty good. Hey! Oh, great song. Peter! Are you okay? You've just been standing there, talking to this thing. Hey, hey, be careful with that, Gamora. I don't think it's so useless after all. If you say so. It's been hours. Hours? The Nova Corps are here? Okay. Uh, yeah. You look like you just saw a ghost. Something isn't right. Never mind. It, it, it was nothing. It was... it was just a dream. It doesn't sound like nothing. <sighs> when I grabbed the relic, I... I was suddenly back on Earth. And my... mom was there. Peter? Your mother is dead. I know, I, I know, I know she is. I just... Somehow it didn't... feel that way. <sighs> we can't keep the Nova Corps waiting. But I do not trust this thing. No way we're selling it. All right. Showtime. Let's go. Thank you, Guardians, for bringing Thanos' body straight to us. We know the Collector was quite interested in purchasing his remains. Probably to put in that hellish zoo of his. But we will dispose of the body properly. There should be no trace left anywhere in the universe of Thanos the Mad Titan. Well, sometimes you have to do the right thing. No matter how difficult and dangerous and noble it is. The galaxy is in your debt, Star-Lord, as are we. Once we have verified Thanos' corpse, the bounty is yours. While we're here, I've just got to say, I'm a big fan of yours, Star-Lord. You took out the Mad Titan. No one else could have done this. I've been following your adventures for years. <laughs> your time with Yondu and the Ravagers, forming the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> wow. Well, thanks. You're welcome. You know, we're fans of the Nova Corps, too. Don't mind him. Confirmed. Thanos the Mad Titan. Great. We'll take that bounty now, Space Cop. Oh, of course. Okay. Once the body has been received by processing, the bounty will be released to accounting. You should start receiving your payment in installments in... six to twelve months. Ugh, I know. Standard protocol. But there's a lot of red tape and paperwork to go through. Six to twelve months! Okay, this better be a joke. Okay. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> but you made the right choice. 
The Nova Corps maintains order in the galaxy. And we're all done here. It's been an honor working with you, Star-Lord. Peter Quill. Oh, what now? You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. All right. The body will be taken to the facility. Oh my god! Whoa! And since Jinzar could not retrieve it earlier, I must take it myself. I will not fail you again, Hala. Retrieve the relic. Can you actually shoot? Speak, kid. Is that a yes? Ah, just follow me. You're so incredible! Have what we came for. Stop! Rocket, we need the ship. The engines are down. It's gonna take a minute. We can't wait. They're getting away. I'm coming with you. There's only one pack. Allow me to fight beside you, Star Lord. I killed Thanos. I can kill some measly blue warriors. The size of that warship. You can't fight your way through that. Take me, and they'll never even know we were there. Let us paint her ship red with blood. From the inside. The fewer people who detect us, the better. You've seen the types of weapons they possess. I welcome the confrontation. Suit up, Drax. You and your blades are with me. I shall be a worthy, violent ally. Don't let him do anything stupid. It's Kree, commanded by someone named Hala the Accuser. Kree. I heard none of them survived the destruction of their planet. You ain't wrong. That ship, those people, shouldn't exist. Well, I'm looking right at it. Following your lead. Tracks! You are my savior, Quill. 
that a lot. <sighs> Looks clear. Those cowards are hiding from us. Come! Fight me! <sighs> Quiet, Drax. They're gonna hear us. Ah, yes. Stealth. I have heard of this concept. Let's just find Hala and get that relic back. Rocket, how are the engines looking? Not great, Pete. The old girl's seen better days. Hey, Groot, don't stick your roots in that. Hey, Gamora, how, how are you guys holding up? I should ask you the same. We're safe and sound on nowhere. You're inside an enemy warship. Ah, don't worry. I'm keeping Drax safe. I hear your lies, Quill. Pictures of... Whoa. So Rocket's words were true. The Kree have all been slain. Puh! Kree! I cannot read the infantile scribblings of this so-called language. I can. Much better. Hala's got to be there, which means that's where the relic is. Power diverted to access way. 36 stasis pods now offline. Equilibrium terminated. Ah. Uh, whoa. My bad. Do not feel bad. The dead cannot become more dead. I am too muscular to fit. Hmm. 96% of stasis pods online. Performing at six percent crew efficiency. That is a lot of dead folks. The bridge. Hala's got to be there, which means that's where the relic is. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me one. You are welcome. All right, let's. <gasps> Okay. Now... Come on, man! He 
has finally expired. Let's go get the relic. Make haste, Star-Lord. We must reach the bridge and slaughter everyone in our path. Who is next to die? Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. Few survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. It's pronounced Star-Lord. One more step and he dies. It will be easy to remove his head. Do not test me. Wait, 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 wait! Don't hurt him. Very well. I cannot lose my son again. You will not take him from me. I have been searching for so long. No one will stand in my way. I thought he was lost. I thought they all were. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have no idea what this means to me. To the Kree, our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. I know what it's capable of. It let me relive a memory with my mom. It can do so much more than that. You really do not know how this works, do you? You said you lost your mother. Would you kill someone to bring her back? No. I'd never do that. I thought as you once did. Until everything was taken from me. Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Stay strong, Star-Lord. Do 
not allow the blood to leave your body. I will get you back to the ship. Try to maintain consciousness. I'm glad I brought you along. <laughs> it is a privilege to watch you die. Wow, uh, thanks. Drax? Rocket, we must leave. Hala's ship is in pursuit. I don't know if we can outrun her. Then we shall fight our way out. Peter is gravely injured. Aw, oh, does PDQ have a boo-boo? Tell that was to walk it off. Oh, no. I am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey, guys. You should have been there to protect him, Drax. This is your fault. You would have fared no better, Green Witch. And you wrote it. What took you so long? Yeah, go on. Blame the guy who rescued me. I'm a Groot. Peter? Peter, no. I'll give you some time to say goodbye. You know, your mom would smack you upside the head she saw you moping over her like this. Quills ain't no little babies. What the hell do you know, mister? You don't know my mom, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you think. Ah! You better pull it together, boy. Cause I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. What the hell are you? What? What? <laughs> Will. Ain't you got a scrot on you? The name's Yandu Udanta. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy. Or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. I can take you without needing to lift a finger. And why should I trust you? Because my word is my bond, boy. What I say, I do. There's nothing in between. So what's it gonna be? All right. I'm ready to get out of here. I trust you. That a boy. Come on. Let me show you your new home. What? Don't worry, my little Star-Lord. A 
I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Am I... dead? You are, but you have nothing to fear. Mom? Come find me, Peter. thing recording okay so yeah I thought once Thanos was kaput we'd have to change our name heroes of the galaxy party -ers of the galaxy huh. yeah but the thing about this place it never stays guarded for long as soon as Hala found out we had the eternity forge we shot up to numero uno on her murder list yes dying hurt a lot what kind of question is that I am Dad, Groot. you know what, buddy? Why don't I feel these questions? Since we're putting this on record, it was a brilliant idea to pawn off Thanos. But I ain't thrilled those idiots at the Nova Corps ended up with them. You see units pouring out of my ears? Cause I don't! Peter ain't a bad kid. Bit of a whiny pushover on his best days. Soon as he showed up at my hideout, I could tell he got himself in some kind of trouble. The Kree ain't folks you want to mess with. I thought my reunion with Nebula would go over better. That she'd understand I was trying to mend things between us. I was wrong. Once she found out what the Eternity Forge could do, everything it could do, there was no stopping her. I'm gonna use an Earth analogy here, so just bear with me. The Guardians, we're like the Beatles. I'm John, Gamora is Paul, Rocket is Ringo, Drax is George, and Groot, well, well, Groot is just Groot. It's, it's, it's not a perfect analogy, all right? <laughs> we yell, sure. We fight, but damn, do we make beautiful music. I just hope I can keep the band together, or this galaxy doesn't stand a chance.